what he said. What he said. Greg Worsell is uh, one of our patriots. I've been in the legislature now for four terms, eight years. About halfway through those eight years, I started to hear about some of the judicial activism that we have going in Minnesota. And Greg is one of those individuals, one of those rare individuals in the law business who advocates for the citizens instead of his job. particularly in our judiciary, have the interests of the people and not the special interest groups that are buying their seats. And so I, I, I can't strongly enough ask you to give to uh, Greg's campaign and to uh, Table Stats and to uh, Greg, because they are truly uh, great Americans. But I'm going to start out my little spiel here with, uh, with a quote. And the quote is uh, from a famous individual, see if you can figure it out. This guy said, the, the people who cast the votes decide not the people who count the votes that decide everything. Now, there wasn't Kind of a predecessor to him, though. His name was Joe Stalin. Joe Stalin. Joe Stalin understood that you control the election box, you control the government. Now you fast forward to 2005, and uh, George Soros kind of came from the same side of the world over there, huh? But uh, George Soros understood the same thing. He put together what's called the Secretary of State Project in 2005, along with some other far-left progressive organizations. And they basically said, you know what? We're going to put together a campaign, and we're going to target the swing states. That out, of, out of the 50 states, 13 states that we think will make the decision. And in that decision, we can really turn this country around. And if those 13 states, they elected 11. 11 secretaries of state. Mark Ritchie is their poster child. Mark Ritchie is the secretary of state in Minnesota that got us Al Franken. You think the people of Minnesota elected Al Franken? No. Mark Ritchie. And he did it through his position in the secretary of state office, maneuvering in the election process, and uh, we as Minnesotans have been bearing the brunt of that uh, since 2008. And so part of this process is to say, you know what, we really need somebody nonpartisan. We need somebody who will do the will of the people. But our system does not allow nonpartisan to run for that position. I'm a Republican, and I believe in conservative values. And I'll say, before I'm a Republican, I believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I'm an American. Before any party, I'm an American. I spent 22 years serving my country, and it was my honor and pleasure to do it as a naval fighter pilot. And, and it was it was a rocket. It was awesome. <laughs> I, used to, I used to get the opportunity to swear new uh, sailors in, and the first thing we do is uh, we just swear in, is we raise our right hand, and we say repeat, repeat after me. I do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies foreign and domestic, and to bear true faith and allegiance to the same. You know, when I got into the Minnesota legislature, same thing happened. I rose my right hand, swore to support, support the Constitution. So what do we do in the legislature? We pass unconstitutional bills like 1812, which was a multi, which was a multi-topic. At one point last this last year, I stood up and they did this again for the second or third time. And I said, you know what, Madam Speaker, I am refusing to vote on this particular issue, and I'm announcing to the body that I refuse to vote on this issue because this bill is clearly unconstitutional. And then I read the passage of the Constitution, and I read the title of the bill. You know what her response to that was when I sat down? Well, that's your interpretation. <laughs> and we have to stop this nonsense. This is part of what's been going on there with the DFL control uh, party. And they totally blow off the Constitution. That's why we need Neil. We need the rest of the candidates from this district, we need a full version. We need Nick and Mark. We need those guys in the Minnesota House and the Senate to bring some sanity and some adherence back to the Constitution again. And the Tenth Amendment. And the Tenth Amendment. That's right, the Congress Bill. Like I said, you know, we all play a part in this process. The Secretary of State is no more important than, than uh, Mark or Nick or me. 
but it is important in the process as we put elections forward. We need the lawmakers, we need the constitutional officers, we need the governor, and we need the judicial, and we need to scrub this place. And so this Let's all get out there. We got 50 days to go, and we can make it count. Thank you so much.